That's right, little kitty. These power cuts are becoming more frequent lately. Well, not just us. I think the entire world needs solar energy for the betterment of our planet. Wait a minute. That's an interesting scenario to explore. So, without wasting any more energy, let us answer an electrifying question. What if the whole world runs on 100% solar energy? Zoom in! Traditional electricity relies heavily on fossil fuels such as coal and natural gas. But the major problem is, these sources of energy are limited and there will come a time when we will completely run out of it, endangering our future. And believe it or not, according to some reports, these endpoints could be within the next 70 years or so. But apart from this futuristic problem, there lies a bigger threat in the present as well. Yes, my dear friends, if we continue to use and burn these fuels at this rate, they also have the potential to harm the environment as they are made up of harmful chemical bonds that could be dangerous for us. How? Well, the coal we use is made of carbon and when mixed with oxygen, it leads to an increase in carbon dioxide in the environment. This eventually contributes to greenhouse effects, which then contribute to climate change and cause global warming. Hence, the need to find a suitable alternative has become more critical than ever before. And fortunately, Mother Nature has provided an alternative solution in the form of solar power coming from the mighty sun. And the best part is, it is absolutely clean, free and available in abundance. Yes, around 173 quadrillion watts of solar energy strike the Earth continuously. That is, 10,000 times the global electricity requirement. So it means a mere 1.5 hours of sunlight falling on our planet is enough to fulfill the world's energy consumption for the entire year. But the vital question is, how could we capture this solar power to light up the entire world? The answer to this question lies in solar panels that are used to convert sunlight into electricity. And according to some studies, even if we cover 1.5% Sahara Desert with solar panels, there could be enough to meet the global electricity requirements. But concentrating these panels in one place would cause many hurdles as it will become difficult to supply this energy to different continents and even maintaining this facility will be a Herculean task. Therefore, a better option will be to install these solar panels in different regions where there is abundance of sunlight like they did in Badla Solar Park, located in Rajasthan, India. This is the largest solar park in the world, which is spread around an area of 56 square kilometers. And all we need to do is build about 9,000 such facilities around the globe to fulfill our electricity needs. But even this will cause a lot of geopolitical issues, wastage of electricity and a lot of funds and manpower. Therefore, instead of imagining these solar power plants as big parks, it's better to boil them down to individual levels. Yes, if everyone starts to install solar panels at home, it will eliminate a lot of issues and benefit the world at large. Trivia time! Did you know, according to reports, 
Earth has 53 years of oil reserves left at the current rate of consumption? Yes. On the other hand, gas will end in the next 40 years and coal will last only for the next 70 years. And that's really a matter of concern for us. So, to save the world, please check out the list of topics on this subject. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Hmm, where are you going, Kitty? Kitty takes solar bath. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs>